<laughs> you would sleep through your own hanging, Jack. I'll just assume they've waked me. There's only one hour before daylight, Jack. One hour to escape the hangman's noose. Escape? My favorite two-syllable word. You have a plan? Always. Just follow my lead, eh? Hey, you. Be careful. The guards are all around here. Just chain your attacks and you can beat them easily. Now, quick, behind you. You've been spotted. Very nice footwork there, mate. There's a rope over there that'll get you up onto the platform above. Then it's easy to get you across the chasm. Best of luck, stranger. Thanks, mate. Hi. Some of these stupid guards think their crack hands are dueling. Just remember to block and wait for a real good moment to strike. God bless you. Someone told me that all the loot a guard stole from us is stashed in a hidden room above the armory. Uh, seems a shame to be locked up like that, if you know what I mean. Thanks, mate! Mate, the warden has quite a lot of nasty instruments lying about. Go on, give him a try. Oh yeah, someone told me he... Company, Jack. Lots of company. Keep this close, Jack. Here's what you've got to do now. Savvy? You have to find the elusive gypsy to your Dalma. She's in Port Royal somewhere. She can help you rally the pirate brethren, Jack, and that's the only thing as might save our skins. Normally I would oblige, however, regrettably and lamentably, there's not a sail in sight. Good to see you, mate. Pray tell, what brought you here? Looking for you, and now saving you, apparently. Did you bring a bucket of water? Oh, so good to see you, but now you must save the other crew members. Thanks to my stars, I'm saved! Now rescue the others! Just when I gave up hope, you have come! But you must save the rest of the crew. Thank you, good sir. Now see to the other crewmen and... Ugh! <sighs> 
bridge! Time in the open sea, the better, eh? Aye, aye, Jack. Port Royal? I will. We have a pressing and unyielding need to find Teodora and rally the pirate lords. Port Royal's not the safest place for us, with Beckett having a price on our heads. Desperate men will go to desperate lengths. Witness my desperate search for the voodoo queen, Teodora. Captain Jack Sparrow, it is time. The pirate lords must be found and rallied. A conclave must be held in Shipwreck City, or piracy shall vanish from the seas forever. There is a key which opens a chest. There is a chest when opened holds the heart of David Jones, and he who holds the heart. Controls Davy Jones. I will keep that in the forefront of my thinking as I rally the pirate lords. But listen, Jack. One of the lords, he call himself Capitan Chaval, is here in Port Royal. Nothing to it then. Do to be hanged. Why can't these pirate lords learn to behave themselves? Release the prisoners from their cells, a fitting distraction for you. Set some gunpowder within the yard to cover your escape. Block the entrances to the yard to stop reinforcements. And weaken the supports to the stock's platform. If you do all this, then freeing the pirate lord will be easy. Got it. Except, go back. What was that first one again? There are more lords to be rallied. You will find some in Tortuga. But for now, be quick, Ritter Jack. The hangman's moose tightens. Cheers, me hearty! <laughs> Shark! Always one for the last minute. I am most grateful for the rescue. Allow me to give you a means to express said gratitude. Take part in the conclave. Alas, I must return to my ship. Done. I shall see you at the conclave, Jack Sparrow. Jack Sparrow! I'm a bit pressed for time, Governor. No, oh, wait. It's Elizabeth. Lord Beckett has declared her a pirate for helping you. She has fled to Tortuga to find Will Turner. And Will Turner would like to be found, I'm sure. I promise. I'll be on the lookout for both of them. Looks like the lads might need a spell of time to prepare for sailing. Anchor up, make sail, lower the jib. All the customary activities. And where to, Jack? I hear it's all two guys pleasant this time of year. Jack, could that be Davy Jones' ship? 
Hey, Rick. Unlikely. Times may have turned tough for old Davy, but he won't be a run afoul of any shoals. And it's too small. The real Flying Dutchman is much bigger. In a frightening, slime-covered, monstrous sort of way. That's the Flying Dutchman. Davy Jones has a key which opens a chest that contains his heart. Capture the heart, and you can control Jones. But how will you stop them? Sparrow! There's your answer. They'll come after me. You board the Dutchman. Get me that key. Get a move on, Will! Get aboard the Dutchman now! Stand back! Wait... Do I know you? You once did. Father? I thought you were dead. I was worse. I must serve my time before the mast. In service to Davy Jones. Come with me. I cannot. I must pay my debt. My word binds me to this ship. But you can escape. I will not abandon you. I will come back for you. I promise. He took my key. The key to my chest that holds my heart. The Seven Seas are not big enough to hide you, Jack Sparrow. Nothing can save you from Davy Jones, Rocker. The key, Jack! I've got it! Tortuga, Jack? Yes, General Rule. It's never not a good idea to sail to Tortuga. You think we'll find Elizabeth here? As good a place as any to start, and an even much more better place to look for pirate lords. Mistress Ching. Long time no see. Jack Sparrow, charming as ever. You remember? Then let me charmingly remind you of an appointment. The Conclave of Pirate Lords in Shipwreck City. Eduardo, would you be ever so kind as to rid me of this Pirate Council errand boy? You mean... to kill him? I'm afraid you have the misfortune of facing Captain Jack Sparrow. I am a pirate lord, and you are nothing. Time for a bit of plundering and pillaging. The rest of my evening looms free, Mistress Chin. Sorry, Jack Sparrow, but I must now prepare for this conflict. It is a long way to Shipwreck City. Understood and agreed. Elizabeth! Seems like your lady love has found some entertainment. I pity the pirate who lays a hand on her. <laughs> Jack! We must leave now! These pirates will fight us all the way to the Pearl! I wouldn't want it any other way, mate. This sword will bite you deep. You fight like a child! Something wrong, Jack? My compass seems very indecisive of late. Well, it looks steady to me. What? Not so fast, Mr. Norrington. Your particular rescue ends here. Every dog has its day, Sparrow. True enough about dogs. I vote for Monday. There is a place in my crew for a dog, if you've a mind. Hoist anchor men! Make all speed! And give oh. Mr. Turner the wheel! There we go, mate. The chest. Right straight dead ahead. Somewhere. I have the key. Now we just remove the little thumb thumb. Sorry, Jack. But I have the key. Sorry, Lenny. 
But I have a chest. And I have a sword. As I'll quickly defeat you. I will fight you for the crown and for my own pl- Do you have the heart, Jack? Indeed I do. Then let's get back to the Pearl. Missing some dirt, Jack? Ignoring some. Can we outfight the Dutchman, Jack? Not probable. More better we hold on to the wind changes than we have a chance. Time for some well-placed cannon fire. Summon the Kraken! Will, get below decks! Man the cannons! Fire when ready! Ah, well done, pirate. Where's Jack? Fell behind. So, whoever possesses the heart of Davy Jones commands Davy Jones. And with that, the Flying Dutchman. You have changed the course of history, Mr. Merritt. Jack Sparrow, if it were possible to help him, I would. Were you so concerned when you sent him to the depths? What? I had to. To save us all. I would do anything to bring him back. I lass. But you won't be doing it without some help now. All you need is a guide, which you now possess. And a map. And where does one find a map to David Jones Walker? Singapore. Here to meet Sao Feng? If the good pirate lord be not otherwise engaged, he will see you at the bathhouse, but be very, very careful going there. This is, after all, Singapore. I do not trust a gathering of pirate lords. I much prefer Jack Sparrow dead. Why ever would I help bring him back? But Sao Feng, surely there's some accommodation. Pirate to pirate, we might reach. And you must think me so easily swayed. I fought wenches with more skill than you. 
You will soon regret that you ever came to Singapore. Hold on, Sao Feng! You have the charts to Davy Jones' locker that we need. And a ship to sail. And we can offer you something in return. Such as? Revenge on a living Jack Sparrow. Seems you have new guests to attend to, Sao Feng. Here, to borrow only. Meet us at the Conclave, and I'll keep my side of the bargain. Barbosa! Can you lead us to Davy Jones' locker? That's Captain Barbosa, Turner. Barbosa! Are you certain this is right? This leads to Jack and Davy Jones' locker? Oh, I have no other destination in mind. Believe me. No point all of us wandering this foul wasteland in search of our beloved Jack and the Pearl. I will go and find him. How do we know you'll come back? Still short on trust for me, Turner. Long on trust, short on faith. We're counting on you to lead us out of here. The legends speak of many strange and deadly creatures who inhabit this land. Captain Barbossa. Ah, but I be strange and deadly and legendary myself. Whatever did you do to get stuck down here? No matter. Don't expect any help from me. Jack. Jack! That's all in the past. You're being rescued. Been rescued before. Never seems to stick. Ah, but you've never been rescued by me. Jack Sparrow, I sent a pirate lord down here. He be needing your help and must be rallied to the conclave. I haven't seen anyone except skeleton things and assorted weird creatures. But on your say so, I shall. Many thanks, Jack. <laughs> Thought I'd be trapped by those bones forever. So, now with some time on your hands, you can attend the Pirate Conclave. All the Brethren will be there. How will we get back to the surface and away from them? To the surface. In this vile place, everything is reversed. Life is death. Hope is down. If we do get back, how mother may I stop Davy Jones? <laughs> There is a way. 
If you were to stab his heart, you would take his place and control the Flying Dutchman. You promised Jack Sparrow, Mr. Turner. You promised him me. We dealt you to get you. I'm having a little trouble following forests and trees and all. And now I will take him. Unless, Calypso, you agree to come with me. Me? I don't know what you're talking about, but I challenge you to a duel. If I win, the crew of the Pearl goes free. If you win, I will stay with you in the end. One additional clause. If I win, I turn the crew of the Pearl over to Lord Beckett. Either way, you stay with me. For your last fight, you challenge South Feng. I win. They go free, South Feng. Ah. But you made a deal before. Even pirates honor deals. You must stay. I will allow the Pearl to escape, but only if you remain with me as agreed. Done. Die, Calypso. Calypso? But I'm not really... Here, take this, my piece of eight. Who better to own it? Calypso, you are now a pirate lord. You must go to the conclave in my place. Surrender, Miss Swan. You murderer! Do you surrender? Yes. We must have arrived early. Let us meet at the Pirate Hall. And in the meantime, I'm sure we can find our own diversions. Here. Wait a minute. Weren't you once a famous captain? Suppose you've heard of me. The legendary Captain Jack Sparrow. I'm here on a very important errand on behalf of all pirates everywhere. Savvy? Take advantage of a drunken pirate, you scurvy-ridden sea dog. I'll run you through with my sword. So, what do you want? Unless you have something of interest to me, and my interests are few. You best leave me alone. <laughs> Knew you'd get here somehow. Now then, two of the pirate lords are missing, and worse, some of Beckett's men have infiltrated Shipwreck City. We must start the pirate conclave as soon as possible. Say, mate, any chance you spied any pirate lords? Why, I have, but, um, uh, he is. Well, let's say he's not currently available. But I've got some urgent business with the Pirate Lord, Savvy. Have you no ears? I told you he is not available. Now clear off fast before I start to severely hurt such an odd and ineffectual looking pirate like you. I'll take that, for now, as a compliment. But to be honest, which I'd never be anything but not, 
I'm afraid I'm really going to have to see that pirate lord. Everyone, abandon ship! We are sinking fast! Jack Sparrow? Captain Jack Sparrow, mate. And you're going to be late for the conclave. All lords required. We are not on a ship? Not currently. So best get to the pirate hall. I will. There can be no conclave without... I know. Without the great Captain Armand. Here, give this doubloon to the chaps near the mermaid. You're again. You best have a good reason for disturbing me. Any chance you've seen any pirate lords about, mate? I have better things to do than talk to bilge rats like you. I have a bit of pirate silver. Think that might jog your memory? Ah, a gold doubloon. Why didn't you mention that before, my good friend? <laughs> Thanks for the doubloon. Now clear off your scurvy pot. You thieving cur. Should know by now, never trust a pirate. Looks like I arrived just in time to tear you away from this fine vessel. I thought that was the end of me. The pleasure was all mine. You need to get to the Pirate Hall so the Conclave can take place. Get to the Pirate Hall! I recommend taking the stairs. I'll catch up. My good lords, we must take another vote. But let each lord first hand me their piece of eight. All to be returned, to be sure, once we have a new king. Captain Hector Barbosa. Captain Shuri Sombaji. Captain Eduardo Villanueva. Mistress Ching. Captain and Gentleman Jocard. Captain Amand. Captain Cheval. It appears we need two other lords to vote. Captain Elizabeth Swan. Southang named me his successor as Pirate Lord when he died, and Norrington released me from the Dutchman's brig, but was killed for his kindness. I too hereby nominate Captain Elizabeth Swan, Pirate King. Hail the new Pirate King! We're being attacked! Something about this doesn't seem right. Right. Beckett wouldn't have sent just that small force against us. I advise we depart now, Captain Swan. Just a precaution. Remember, he who fights and runs away, lives to run away again. Prepare for war. We had a deal. I made you live again, and in exchange... Aye, but strictly for your own purposes. I release you from this human form, unbound, transformed to the goddess Calypso. And as I have fulfilled my vow to you, I now ask for your favor as you promised. Spare myself, my ship, my crew and unleash your terrible fury upon those who dare pretend themselves your masters. <laughs> Pirates. So predictable. Take a My name is Will Turner. You, my friend, are 
finished. I do believe I can fight you with no weapons at all. You forget, I truly am heartless. Tell me, do you fear death? I see that the wretched Black Pearl survived. Let's send her down to the depths where she belongs. We witness the end of piracy and the end of Jack Sparrow. Has there ever been a more glorious day? And so the tale is told. Soul is lost, and the sea moves over, uncaring, unchanging, forever. I've taken Davy Jones' place. It was the only way. I must serve my time, and I will serve, if you will wait for me. I will. And then? I will return for you. Oh, Jack? Me and a few of the others had a little chat. We're not back to this, are we? After all we've been through... It's decided. I get to captain the Black Pearl. They call it Symmetry Jack. If it isn't the renowned Jack Sparrow. Captain, Captain Jack Sparrow. 